Foremost of all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Krakadash. We don't want to store our apostles and elders and great men stone. Peace, I taste it all for 144,000. And a one third man with the children of that order. This is Shemar Yahala with the great men stone, John Dunham Walker, Wisconsin. And um, I just watched the elder uh, Malcolm out of uh, GMS uh, Chicago. Uh, just watched this video that he did um, dealing with, you know, something that. You know, we speak on it all the time here at Great Millstone uh, as far as, you know, uh, knowing that our the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, as the scriptures say. I'm going to grab that scripture as well. But what I'm getting at is that you do have a lot of camps out of here outside of uh, Great Millstone that um, promotes, you know, going to the range, uh, Tapping into Esau's blessing, which is the sword, according to uh, the, uh, the book of Genesis, is part of a, a blessing that he had got, in which he, you know, scriptures talk about, you know, him going throughout the world using that sword to, to you know, to, uh, to dominate the world in itself. That's part of his blessing. You know, that's not our blessing. We, we have given the blessing of spirituality. You know, um, the blessing of um, the salvation that is coming for us. You know, this is not our rest, as the scriptures say. This is not our kingdom. This is Esau's kingdom. This is his place and time to flourish. And so we understand and we know that um, when we see things like this are being put out here, we understand that this is this is uh, agents. This is agent provocateurs. And uh, this is this, this is Esau's way. If not this Esau, we have ignorant Israelites that are out there that are operating in this fashion. To do what? To try to disrupt and uh, cause problems within uh, this ministry, you know. Uh, the elites have a thing that that, that that goes by order out of chaos, you know, order out of chaos. And so we understand that you know they're planning something. They're planning to do uh, something to to disrupt and cause problems in in, 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 in this, uh, this 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 Hebrew Israelite thing, you know, because the truth has gotten these guys in 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 the um. In an uproar, the truth has got these guys uh, jammed up in their uh, their plans because, hey, the Lord has given them a specific time to rule, and that time is coming to an end. The scriptures talk about, and I'm going to quote it. Uh, you know, they, they they know they have but a short time, and so this is part of them coming down like like that flood and, and bringing all, all hell upon um, Jake. You know, um, because it's part of prophecy. Number one. Two, you know, this is part of their lot and what they're supposed to do. But let's dive into it, though, because at the end of the day, the Lord tells us that, hey, if we live by the sword, we shall die by the sword. Roughly paraphrase, but I'm going to grab the scripture. Um, and this is when they came to uh, take uh, Yahweh Shai to be sacrificed, and, and, and that's, in that sense, or to be crucified. Um, <clears throat> this is Matthew. Uh, chapter 26 and verse, um, I'm going to start at, uh, 46, it says, rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that doth betray me. This is talking about Judas in the time that he betrayed the Howard and he brought, um, <clears throat> the man that come and, um, apprehend him, you know? Of the chief priests and the elders of the people. It says in verse 47, it says, And while yet he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whosoever I shall kiss, that say is he, hold him fast. And forthwith he came to Yahushan and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Yahushan said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahushan and took him. All right. This is the point. This is verse 50, 51. It says, And behold, one of them which were with Yahushai stretched out his hand and drew his sword 
and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. And this was, uh, I believe this would be just be Peter who did this. Okay. It says, then said Yahweh shouted to him, put up again thy sword into his place and put your sword away. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Okay. And so when he's telling them, you know, uh, those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. And he also let them know, like, hey, I, if I wanted to, to, to fight back, I have angels around me that can protect me. In, in verse 53, which it says, says, Think it's thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? And so, in essence, you know, again, uh, these prophecies must happen. And again, even with, you know, you got Jake out here uh, wanting to tap into the Esau's blessing, which is the sword, by the way, sword is the gun. Um, you know, you got you got this thing right here going on with the with the, the Hebrew defense unit, in which we know that this is a covert, a covert, uh, a covert uh, a mission to do what? To discredit this truth to try to break it down, try to cause problems, disrupt it, you know? We got we got Israelites out here that are uh buying into that mindset in which, hey, we're not we're not gonna will this thing into our in ourselves. It's gonna take a higher power to 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 destroy the, this uh this devil who is leading and ruling over us. The Lord put him in position, the Lord's gonna take him out. It's not by our hands, it's by by his spiritual power, in which he will he will bring in, in, in that in that due time, um, it, it, we will have to have what great um, confidence and faith in the Lord that He's going to do what He's going to do. We don't take matters into our own hand. Again, um, grab this. So, Lockie, bear with me. All right. Okay, it's so 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. And so we understand that um, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. What's, what, what's a carnal? What's, what's carnal in this world? A gun, the modern day sword. Because, you know, we don't, by us taking those matters into our own hands, we pretty much tell the Lord we don't trust you. You know, you don't trust that you're going to do what you're going to, that you say you're going to do. All right. And the Lord speaks about that as like a carnal mind is what? And like, if we, we're thinking like that, we have a, a carnal mindset. Okay. This is Romans 8 and 6. It says, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life. Because the carnal mind is enmity. It's totally against, it's that verse. Against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can it be. So then, the day that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. So you leave about the flesh. You want to go get guns and arms. You want to cause this uh, Israelite uh, defense unit uh, here at Great Millstone. We don't preach that, okay? And so, because we understand through the scriptures, that's not the, that's not the right way. We're not going to will in the kingdom in this time. This place has to be destroyed and will be destroyed. And anybody that thinks that they're going to go against that or think that Jacob's trouble is not going to happen and think that they're going to be up in arms to be able to, to combat and take over uh, Esau, who's been given the blessing of the sword. We don't own missiles. We don't own any of these things. You think these little guns are going to protect you? Man, the, the, the spirit of power, y'all about y'all shy, man. That's what's going to protect us. All right? So, again, I just want to do a quick land back off of that and put my two cents in on it. Again, hey, man, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. Trust in Yahweh by the of Shah to the best of your ability, man. And try to live by these laws and to the best of your ability through the grace that we have right now. We know we can't do everything. We understand that. But we understand what we can do. And so, with that being said, man, I'm going to go praise and glory to Yahweh by the of Shah by the Shimon Prophet Dust, the Blast, our Apostle the Elders, and the Millstone. Peace like this, and all for Lego, the 44,000. And the one third man, children of order. Again, this is Shimon Allah. We're going to go to the Southern Wisconsin. Until next time, Shalom.